Hi everybody, it's Galactic Man Larry here again with another Dragon Ball Evolve review and today we have in front of us Super Saiyan Broly which is well, just another figure I just wanted to get from this line which is the, let's say, the economy line from Bandai and I've been kind of enjoying these ones uh, I don't know, it's their cheap they still have a lot of articulation and they are fun and I don't have worries if something breaks or something which hasn't happened I just had a glued knee on my Vegeta, Vegeta actually so that's the figure, that's the packaging, really simple it says nothing about the character, it's just a lot of warnings and legal stuff uh, Broly in his famous pose and Vegeta and Kakaroto, well Goku and that's it, it's actually not like super nice looking packaging, it's just as basic as it gets. So I'll take this guy out of the packaging and we'll continue in a second. And there you have the Super Saiyan Broly from da Dragon Ball Evolve out of the packaging. And I think just by getting him in this little pose and just a very short uh, moment like getting him in my hands. I think this is the best one so far, for me at least. I, I really always like the... Oh, that's a bit... <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, that's the, the quality of these figures. You can take them apart really easily. Um, but yeah, nothing that terrible. I mean, from the Super Saiyans and all of that, I think Broly was always like... When I was a teenager, I was like, well, that guy is... That's the one you don't want to mess with, you know? And yeah, I think it looks really nice. And of course, has a lot of possibility and all of that, even for the price point. First of all, just let's take a look at that headpiece. It's made of two parts. Maybe you can see there is the, the whole hair part. I don't know if the, what the exact the actual color of the plastic would be if it's something yeah something like pearlescent or is it just like skin color and the rest is all painted I don't know the face is uh, yeah it's, it's cast in that skin tone plastic and has some more of the metallic hair painted on so maybe the whole thing is cast in skin tone plastic anyway he has a scar here on the on the cheek, uh, he's on a, of course, like a gelling expression there. He has his scar on the chest. Would be nice to have some um, shading, but I mean, these are super budget, so if you want to get shading, you have to do it yourself with an airbrush or whatever. But yeah, uh, and of course, you have these not so super nice looking pegs, but. You, it's they are double ball pegs. I mean dumbbell joints. So you have a lot of mobility thanks to that. But uh, it won't always look nice. You know, it will look rather ugly, and they pop quite easily as well as the biceps. Everything pops quite easily in these figures. You know, but uh, again, their budget, and I'm not angry. I prefer parts popping instead of breaking you know because i'll just put them back put them back in and it's all fixed and you can get him in some nice poses he has these like uh, i think that's the ear or something of some character i haven't uh, watched dragon ball super or anything of that i know broly from the film back then and he was killed there but he's Live and kicking again, it seems. Maybe they killed him again. I don't know. You can see the chest and the torso here in a double ball peg as well, which is good and no problem. If I mean that didn't pop super easily, but I you can pop it just with a little bit of strength. The waist is also in a ball peg, it seems. You can of course also pop it off, and that's how he would look without the ear or whatever of whomever that of course of course would give him all the movement and it doesn't look that bad i mean without that skirt thing 
doesn't look like super wrong, you know, just very basic, but that gives him all the mobility. He can kick 90 degrees forward, kick a little bit to the back, but he has his uh, butt sculpted there. He can do the full splits, it seems, or almost. Quite a nice range. I mean, the, the range, the proper range these guys need, you know. So you can do a lot of hard kicking and all of that. Now the head can look, it has all that wiggle, it can look up that far. A bit of a shame that the neck is not on a dumbbell joint. I don't know why the rest is and the neck is not. So he can almost look, he can't look upwards because of the whole hair and where the peg is placed on that neck. So he has no chance to look up, but he can do it a bit with the torso, you know. With diaphragm joint, I mean, no, he can, of course, turn the way, well, almost all the way around before it pops. He can look down that far, which is good. The shoulders can go all the way around. He can lift the arms so far, almost the famous T pose. But I mean, the sculpt, of course, of course, doesn't allow. But you can, you can turn things around and find the position you want to find to to get he's super uh, buff so you just get 90 degrees and a weird looking elbow but uh, again budget and still it's not terrible you know it's it's okay it's a single jointed elbow as you already saw and the fists can turn all the way around and can go in and out or up and down whatever you prefer the diaphragm can turn a bit to the sides all the way around without popping or and he has a bit of movement there on the waist but it's it's not like it just works a bit like a swivel because the the crotch piece is flat so there's no like space for no curvature there to to actually help the angle of the torso and all of that the legs are on a well, these, uh, we saw that already, that he can do almost a full splits, he can kick 90 degrees forward, he can kick a little bit to the back, the knees can bend a bit over 90 degrees backwards, this one is a bit loose, that's a bit of a shame, uh, the thigh cut is there and current can go all the way around, nothing at the boots, the feet he can turn the feet all the way around. He has an ankle rocker, a very a nice one. And he can move the feet up that far and backwards that far. So it's a decent amount of range for for a ten dollar figure, you know. Well, well it was like eleven euro actually here. But yeah, it's okay. Let's keep him this little skirt back and we'll check how much movement he has wearing his very green skirt piece there actually he can kick all the way because the skirt is flexible but he won't be able to do the oh it's not that terrible even even wearing the piece he has a lot of range so you can have him however you prefer you know and there you have your Super Sage and Broly standing next to Vegeta, Goku and Super Saiyan Trunks. Well, or all are all of them are Super Saiyan, these two actually Super Saiyan God, whatever that is. What's the next step after Super Saiyan God? I don't know. And yeah, he's the tallest to the shoulders, but his head is tinier and Goku is the tallest to the hair. And if you straighten trunks up, it's also still Broly is like the tallest up to the shoulders at least. But yeah, he should be much larger because he should be larger than all of them. Like, I think he should be at least twice this size or something like that. You know, they the scale is not right, but still is a, a nice looking figure. And if you're collecting this, like, budget line is when you definitely have to get, I think, is of these four, maybe the best one. Maybe, maybe. At least, well, I think so. But I think that's more of a personal opinion. The one that's, I mean, the, with trunks, they, they, they missed. The feet are wrong, you know? They can, they, the, the ankle tilt. But anyway, 
So that's it for this review. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao, ciao.